What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And that's right folks, it's been a while since your duty's made some commentary videos and I figured why not come back with one of your favorite segments and that's of course the weekly financial audit. That's right. This is where we take a look at DSP gaming, we take a look at uh the financials, we ensure that uh both the liquidity is on point. We make sure that Phil has enough money for his day off, but most of all, we do it to hold Pig Roach accountable. Now, let's take a look at the totals for the work week. Now, of course, this was a shorter work week by a day, but still, that doesn't account for how poorly Phil did. So, for those work week, Phil managed to make $646, which was a huge decrease from the previous week. The previous week, it looks like our boy Phil made $1,035, so he had a dip there of nearly $400 bucks in support. Super Chats, he made $240, compared that to the previous week he made, where he made $509, yet again another dip. So you're talking about $300 in support that Phil did not get. And again, that extra day that he missed doesn't account for why the support was so low this week. Um, it could be it was the end of the month, the dents were just running out of money, and then their disability checks don't come in, of course, until the first of the month. Uh, that could be it. But, uh, you know, who knows with Phil. So for the work week, Phil managed to make $886. Compared that to the previous week where he made $1,544. So he saw a huge dip in, in support by nearly $700 bucks for our boy Phil. Now that's that's rough for Phil. That's That's been tough. It is. that is. That's been tough. Now overall for this month, it's been meh for him. He's averaged about $1,100 to $1,200 in support during the work week. That's what Phil's been making. And that's pretty meh for the course. Now, if we look at his monthly totals, it looks like Phil managed to make $5,626 for June, which is actually a dip in support from the previous weeks. The last, the, the lowest supported month pr prior to that was actually in February, where he only made uh, $5,245. So again, he's just back on this downward trend uh, something that we've been seeing for the last couple years. I mean, he has a couple, maybe month, a good month, a couple weeks, and then support just craters. And again, there's no additional money in the pot, folks. It's just pay pig shuffling money around. Uh, ever since One Minute Man's been gone, which has really been what's hurting Phil, it, it has. Um, the support's not there. He's, he counts on two or three dents to come in and throw a $50 tip to, to save the day. You got Darren, Jordan, these, these anonymous tips that come in from OIC. And it just hasn't been working for our boy Phil. And as you can see in June, he saw a dip in support. And then July hasn't started off well either. I mean, July, he's only made $258 so far. Uh, now, I know he, he had an okay day yesterday, but even that for, for, for nearly four days is not great. So, uh, overall, yeah, it's not looking good for our boy Phil. And then July looks to be even worse. Because as you know, there's nothing coming up in July. The only thing he has is that summer bash that he's trying to, uh, that marathon where he'll of course beg. And uh, that's all he has going for July. Because there are no new, no new games, no nothing. And we all see that Elden Ring and Street Fighter just drying up. It is. Now, let's take a look at the views for the month of June. So, our boy Phil did see an increase in views. He jumped to 610,000 views compared to May, where he only had 537,000 views. Now, again, that's three channels, folks. Now, for comparison's sake, your boy Duty has one channel, and I'm clocking in at 1.5 million views. That's right, your boy Duty made 1.5 million views in June, and that's just one channel, folks. That just goes to show you how dead DSP Gaming and the DSP Gaming franchise is as a whole. Now, the one little interesting point that I want to highlight is right here, DSP Throwbacks. Every single month, DSP Throwback has just dipped in, dipped in views and support. He's down to 20,000 views in June. That's a 5,000 drop from the previous month, right? And then DSP React had a slight bump from 36,000 to 54,000. Wouldn't it make so much sense, Phil? Now, this is that piece of advice that I talked about earlier. Wouldn't it make sense if you consolidated these two channels, Phil? Consolidate DSP Racks with DSP Throwback. That way, you don't have to struggle with creating content for DSP Reacts. Because that's the one thing you always try to fucking beg your nets about. You always say, oh, what should I do? Should I do reviews? Should I do this? Throw Hail Mary videos no one cares about. If people, if the dents actually cared about Throwback, you should put Throwback into DSP Reacts. 
Because that's, uh, let's be honest here. The only thing people are watching or paying for is the weekly DSP throwback stream that he does Sunday nights. That's it. Nothing else. Because he's getting 50 to 100 views per video on those stupid throwback things. No one cares. The novelty has worn off. Even when it was new, he only got like three or 400 views per video. So no one really gives a shit about that fucking channel. It would make sense if you consolidated the two channels. And even if you want to fill, I know you would be a greedy pig if you do this. But why don't you just increase the DSP Reacts membership? Just increase it by a dollar, get rid of the throwback, and you can convince your dents and say, hey, look, I'm giving you more and I'm actually charging you less. I'm giving you a discount. Maybe the dents would be happy and would be willing to, to, to cough up memberships for DSP Reacts if you do that. But, of course, Phil's not going to do that because he's too fucking... He can't see... He can't see two steps ahead of him. All he's thinking about is that money that he's getting for those memberships. He's thinking about those 20 or 30 memberships he's getting for throwback. And he's seeing that as profitable. Which is so dumb, Phil. It is. It's so dumb and so pointless. And all you're doing is you're maintaining three channels. For nothing. For absolutely nothing. For what? Maybe an extra 60 bucks a month? That is so dumb. If you actually gave people more for DSP Reacts, I think you would actually consult, you would actually get more memberships and views for DSP Reacts, and it would make up for throwback, right? And then that way you're not maintaining three channels. You can get your editors to focus on DSP Gaming and DSP Reacts. But will you do that? Of course not, Phil, because you're too greedy, because all you see is membership money, and that's all you care about. Anyway, so let's look at the yearly total, folks. So for the year so far for 2025, Phil's managed to make $25,766 com uh, compared to uh, the previous year uh, where he made $31,370. And then in Super Chats, he made $8,892. And then in 2023, he made $12,120. Now, this is what's been killing him is Super Chat. I mean, he's down nearly $4,000 in Super Chats. Now... We did the totals. Phil so far for 2024 has pulled in $34,740 compared to last year where he made $43,319 for a net decrease of 20%. Now, every time Phil tries to tell you with a straight, with a crooked straight mouth that his business is doing great, he's losing no money, he's making exactly the same amount of money he made from the previous year, it's a lie. It's a lie. Right here, 20%. 20%, Phil. There's no way you're making 20. And then the thing is, your your views are down in the tent in the toilet. So you're not making that up with ad revenue. Your memberships are in the toilet, right? Because of the Argentinian memberships. So you're not really making money there. So where exactly is it that you're making up this 20% in super chats and tips that you're that you're not getting, Phil? Where exactly is it? You, is Cat working a part-time job that we don't know about? What exactly is it, Phil? Because I'm not buying it, dude. I'm not. And then it's even worse when you look at it, when you compare it to 2022. In 2022, uh, Phil managed to pull in $47,405 for a net decrease from 2024 to 2022, 27%. 27%. That's bad, Phil. And then this 20% for, tw for, for 2024 to 2023, 2023 that number is going to even increase because july is dead august is dead september is dead and well september you might you might get lucky with star wars outlaw but we'll see but anyway folks that's really it that's all i really had to say i wanted to catch up and update my spreadsheet here so yes it looks like phil sadly the business is not being saved elden ring has not saved the business street fighter and bison has not saved the business Nothing, sadly, will save this business, Phil. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys to hear me back. I will be providing more commentary videos on the daily. My apologies. It's just your boy, dude, he's been busy with a little bit of traveling. And uh, hopefully, I'll have some more time to invest in his business. Peace out.